Hello and welcome to the tutorial on weight loss. Now before we get started, you can see the warning just above the video here. I just want to tell you that this is not really the best guide for burning maximal amounts of fat. This is really for reducing weight on the scales and it wouldn't really typically be recommended to most people. Uh, this would really suit either someone looking to drop weight for, let's just say, a fight to get into a certain weight category, or maybe for a woman who really just doesn't want to build any more muscle tone. You are sacrificing building your metabolism in this section. Okay? Now, you, really, you should just follow the underground workouts as they're presented to you. Uh, even though it won't show much of a shift on the scales, you are burning maximum amounts of body fat, but you're just replacing it with a little bit of muscle. And remember that uh, your metabolism is all about your, your ratio of muscle mass. So you want as much muscle as possible. So if you are doing the underground workout and you are concerned that you're not losing weight, just, just look at your actual physique. Are you actually becoming slimmer in appearance? Are you toning up? That is the most important thing. Don't be, don't be concerned about your weight on the scales. Nobody is gonna walk up behind you and pick you up and shake you around and see how much you weigh, okay? It's all about being toned and strong. This is really just for people who want to see reduction on the scales because they need it, okay? So to generally get in shape, I would say disregard this entire section and Really, that's what the underground is all about. Maximal fat burning in any way. Get into shape as much as possible. Okay, so the following few video clips will be with Daniela Moyles, highlighting ways to take emphasis off muscle building and to focus purely on losing weight on the scales. How's it going everybody? This is strategy number one for weight loss here in the underground tutorial. Okay, so we're here with Daniela Moyles. Um, just for the purpose of this strategy, I'm just gonna get you to do a clean and press. So bang it away there. Okay, what's gonna become very important for weight loss or reducing weight on the scales is gonna be the resistance that you use, okay? Now, as Daniela is banging out the clean and press here with six kilos, you'll find that that's maybe six reps in, that it starts to become quite challenging on seven, eight, starting to become difficult, yeah? Nine, and 10, okay, you can drop the weight there, okay? Now let's just say that we're doing a circuit and one of the stations is let's say 45 seconds to a minute. You can see that Daniela would have actually stopped performing the exercise um, about like 25 to 30 seconds in, okay? Now, muscle failure is when you actually you have an inability to perform any more reps of an exercise, okay? So if she was getting like eight to 10 reps before she actually couldn't do any more, that's gonna be more uh, in like the muscle building realm of uh, rep range, okay? So hypertrophy. Ideally, what you wanna do is pick a weight that you can go for the full 45 seconds to a minute, okay? Because calorie burning, um, not paying attention to building muscle, is all about just continuous movement, okay? So, Danielle, I'll get you to do the exact same thing, but just drop the weight down, and we're just doing twos. Now, you'll probably be able to do fours, but you know, just for the purpose of this, just, just a lighter weight with the twos, okay? So you can see that that's sort of relatively comfortable now, yeah? You could probably maintain that for about 45 seconds. Okay, now what you're actually going for here is, you are going for a weight, and she's got a lovely tempo doing a clean and press, the technique is really good, something that, a weight that you can maintain the full station, the full 45 seconds or the full minute, and just be kind of achieving muscle failure, okay? So give me some fake muscle failure there, 45 seconds, uh, whistle goes, and it's done, okay? So that would have been the perfect weight for her. Continuous movement, continuous repping, through the station, okay? So sacrificing weight, that would be uh, placing a little bit more emphasis on like building size for continuous movement. How's it going? Strategy number two here for weight loss. Okay, so I'm here with Daniela again, uh, and she's just gonna demo two different exercises, uh, one being cardio and one being a strength, strength based resistance exercise, okay? So Daniela, let me just jog on the spot there for me for a second. Okay, so jogging on the spot, it's obviously cardio, it's aerobics, okay? Now I'm just gonna demo, just take the bar there. Okay, so for bent over row, so bend the knees, pick up the bar, hips back, pinching the shoulder blades, pulling the bar up, that's it, good. Okay, so just blast some reps there, okay? And you can drop it down there, right? So just wanna show, okay, so one is like a continuous movement, jogging, okay? That actually has your heart pumping blood all the way through your body. That's what makes it aerobic, okay? And one just focuses, it's called LME, local muscular endurance. It's just on focusing on one body part to increase muscle size, okay? Now, obviously the bent over row is gonna be a little bit more geared towards kind of building muscle. You know, that one typically would be in your back and in your biceps, the front of your arm, okay? so. 
And um, what we do is cross-functional fitness training, which is throwing all these different types of things together. Now, saying that, if you want to place a little bit more emphasis on weight loss, you should place more emphasis on something like jogging on the spot. Now, let's just say in a typical circuit, you could be jogging on the spot and then you go into a weight-based exercise. Now, if I wanted to build a lot of muscle, I might actually kind of like slow down my jog you know, maybe 10 seconds before the timer goes. Uh, so I actually have like a decent amount of energy to do a heavy bent over row. So I'm putting like a little bit more focus on building muscle. But let's just say Daniela was like focused more on weight loss. What she could do is, is just, you know, she wouldn't follow the same system. She just kind of run and do like put maximum output into the cardio phase and then just go in and then, you know, you're a little bit out of breath, you're fatigued, you're not going to be able to lift as heavy um, as someone looking to build muscle or strength. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So placing a lot more emphasis on the cardio type exercises. Uh, if you're kind of stuck on what cardio exercises are, you can really just kind of ask us and we'll tell you kind of where to place the emphasis. Okay, third and final strategy for weight loss. So Daniela again, this is all about transition from exercise into exercise. Now, as we said, um, you know, in strategy number two, continuous movement is very important to fat burning, okay? So it's a lot of small movements that actually burn fat. Um, it's like less big movements that's gonna be burning more carbohydrates and building muscle, okay? So we're just gonna demo uh, a bad transition from one exercise into next, doing circuits, okay? So if, let's just take a plank. We'll do a plank for exercise A. Okay, so nice plank position there. Okay, whistle goes. So nice and lazy, taking your time, shaking out the legs, unnecessary. Okay, so about 10 to 15 seconds and the exercise was right next door, okay? So if you have a 45 second, you can drop it down there, it's all right. So if you have a 45 second station, um, you know, you're only actually gonna be exercising for 30 seconds if it takes you 15 seconds to get there, okay? So you wanna improve upon that ratio as much as you can, okay? Because the actual on time versus the off time is massively important for fat burning, okay? So we're gonna do that one more time. I want you to do it super fast, okay? So down from a plank, a little bit higher. We'll keep her in it for a few seconds. A few more seconds, okay? It goes, quick transition. Very stylish, you're done, and then straight in. Okay, that was about like a three to five second transition. She would have only really started exercising about now, uh, doing, done sort of the lazy way. Now, of course, you might need to take rest, okay? But it's all about, the underground is all about pushing yourself. Pushing yourself to maximum output. So a quick transition between exercises is gonna be a lot better for fat burning.